Sagis, hi! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, September 2nd through September 11th. This is the third time I'm starting my video. Every time I started, I got kaflumbled in my words, and it's very indicative of something I was picking up on in your meditative session, but I will get to that. Hello, newbies. Hi, how are you? Thank you to everybody who has liked, commented, and subscribed, and thank you for my new people who have check or are checking me out now for your very first time, for your very first read with me. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Uh, so I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you are experiencing directly, or someone that in, who in your immediate environment is experiencing, or someone who's energetically attached to you may be experiencing. Keep in mind, it's energy. So it can be vice versa, okay? Uh, then we'll go ahead and get into the tarot reading. Sagis, so right away, I picked up this energy of like, trying to catch. Like, I feel like someone's trying to catch up to you, trying to understand you, trying to figure you out, trying to catch you. Like, it really feels a lot like, where's Sag? Where's Sag now? Okay, I gotta, okay, that's where Sag is. Okay, I can, I can meet them there. I can meet them there. I can meet them halfway. Like, energetically speaking, not necessarily trying to find you. Well, some might be trying to figure out what you're up to in life just by checking out your social media, but I do feel this energy of like, you can't catch Sag. <laughs> can't catch Sag if you tried. Sag, I feel that you're going through a lot of progression right now, and because of that, you're very busy, you're very on the go, very Sagittarian. Sagis cannot sit still in, in Virgo season. They just can't. And, you know, Virgo season's about putting shit to work, right? Putting that grind in. And Sagis, you do that by being physical. You do that by going out and doing shit. So you're just doing your Saggy thing in this time. I did see 9-10, like 9 slash 10 when I was meditating on your energy. I feel like that's more attributing to your progression, but that date could be very significant for some of you out there, okay? So Sag, you're on the go. You're on the go. You're making moves, doing your thing. Some... People are trying to catch up to you. People can't keep up with you right now. They just can't. And I wouldn't expect them to either. Um, but Sag, it's really interesting to me because you're chasing whatever it is you have to chase. And I do feel this energy of like trophy, like winning, champion. Mm. Number one feels very, 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 a lot of energy like that. But I also felt a lot of Taurian energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart. But I thought that was interesting. Like, Taurus shut up. I actually saw a bull and I was like, oh, hello, Taurus. And I feel like that's the person that's trying to catch up to you or catch you. It's this energy of chase, 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 hunt, hunt. It's it's very primal. It's very primal. Sad, you might have enticed someone and not have realized it. Because <laughs> I feel like you're just so... Move number one, move number two, move number three. Gotta, gotta go, go, go. That you don't realize... That you got someone on your tail trying to chase you. And it doesn't feel competitive. Well, no, it feels like catching you. It does feel like catching you. So for some, this could be just a competitive thing, whether that's in the workplace or what have you. Um, like trying to outdo you, number one you. It could be that. But I feel like it's more about catching you. Trying to be up to your level is really how it feels. That's really how it feels to me. I was also picking up on... Um, kind of an emotional moment that I think some of you will be having. Not all of you, definitely not all of you, but it feels like an emotional moment that you're going to be sharing with someone, probably with a Taurian, not necessarily. It's just someone harnessing Taurus energy to catch you, claim you, right? Um, I do feel a very emotional moment where it's like, and I know we've all been there. We've all had these moments where like you look, you're looking at someone, it's either an emotional conversation or you both kind of realize something at the same time that like no one really wants to say. And you're just looking at each other and sad. Some of you might actually have tears and like neither of you can say it, but it's like such an emotion filled moment. Whether you're like, you know, realizing, oh shit, like this is something I can't be doing anymore or someone I can't be engaged with anymore. Or if it's the opposite where it's like, oh my God, I love this person so much <laughs> and I have no words and neither do they. You know, I feel like it could be either one of that for, for you guys, but there is a sense of trying to catch you, catch up to you, hit your level, hit your mark, but you're just too fast. You're just doing too much for this person to catch up to you. And this energy of like number one, winning. I do feel this energy of trophy as well. Someone kind of looks at you, Sag, like a bit of a trophy. Like if they could claim you or if they could be in a relationship with you, it'd be like, yeah, that's my Sag. That's my, that's my Sag. That's my Sag. That's my Sag. You know, it's like definitely a lot of um, just like, triumphant number one energy you're just number one Sag you're just number one and someone does see that someone sees that you're number one um I do feel that you're also doing a lot of uh big thinking 
like fantastical thinking, which is actually really great for right now. And I talked about this in the uh, Full Moon Virgo video that I did a while back. So go ahead and check that out if you feel like um, this is resonating with you. This is the time to dream big. This is the time to dream big and to put some major manifestations into place, okay? If you think something is way out of your reach and too fantastical, just give it a try now, okay? <laughs> give it a try now to start planting those seeds of intention or making the little baby steps, like researching the hell of an idea, the hell out of an idea or something of that nature for something that you're really wanting. I feel like some of you are really doing that and don't stop doing it. Some, some people might go like, Saj, you think you can do anything. Well, maybe you can, right? Who's to say that you can't? Um, don't listen to people like that. Use that fantastical dreamlike energy right now. It's really going to help you, okay? It's really going to be beneficial, especially because the aspect that assists, assists in that, why was it hard to say? Assists in that is a Jupiter, Nept, Jupiter Neptune. It's a Jupiter Neptune aspect that's happening. Is it trine? I think it's trine. Yeah, it's like Jupiter trying Neptune, but I feel like there's also an aspect of Jupiter and Uranus that's also trying. It's like, I think it's the Grand Trine, the Grand Trine that's helping in that right now. Anyway, it doesn't matter, Sag. So that's what's going on. <laughs> that's what's going on. Someone's trying to keep up with you and they can't. Um, for some, it's it's just like a romantic chasing, a romantic chasing. Others, it could be someone you're competing with in the workplace, but not necessarily. But either way, Sag, someone does kind of see you as a trophy that they can have and not in the demeaning sense of like, you're my trophy, you're my pet. Very much like just very in awe of you. And just like, that's my Sag. That's my Sag. That's my Sag. And like I said, a lot of Taurus energy. A lot of Taurus energy. All right. Any messages from my Sagis? Oh, I didn't do my intro. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of that intro. If you don't know how to interpret tarot readings, please watch the link below. Things can be vice versa. Don't get hung up on gender. This ain't for everybody because I can't read for everybody at the same time. There. There's the intro. <laughs> All right, Saggies, let's do this. By the way, in the Capricorn video, I did say Saggy a few times. It happens, guys. It happens. It probably was for a reason. So, Sag, the Capricorn reading might have something in there for you. Okay? Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th? Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius? Oh, this really wants to come out. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Sag. Oh my. Oh, that is a crazy looking strength card. We have the Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars influence with the strength card in the middle. Leo energy and then the Ten of Wands Sag energy. Oh, okay, Sag. This Tower hasn't happened yet. I can tell you that right now. This Tower hasn't happened yet, but it's coming. Shit, it's gonna require a lot from you, okay? Whatever this tower is, it will be burdensome. That Ten of Wands, that's a hell of a lot of work, okay? That's a lot of work. That's a lot of shit to carry on your back, but you're gonna have to be strong in this, and I think you will be. I think you very much will be with whatever this tower moment is, okay? I feel like it's a shock, though. I feel like this tower moment's gonna be a bit of a shock to your system. Keep in mind, this could be vice versa, as I already indicated. So this could be how someone's feeling about you. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Regarding love from now until September 11th. Any messages for Sagittarius? They're drawing me into the strength card. You see how he's like trying to wrangle that. Is that a dragon? It's not a lion. <laughs> we'll just say creature. See how he's like wrestling that creature and it's like very aggressive. It's very like, it, it's, it's clearly a battle. Sag, like I said, for some, it's like someone's trying to claim someone's trying to claim and you don't like to be claimed like that Sagis don't like to be claimed like that um this tower moment could just be the realization that you have been chased right and for some reason it's it's very stressful to you i think because a person might be coming on so aggressive um others of you where it is kind of like a competitive 
kind of situation. There might be a tower moment in this competition um, where it's kind of like neck and neck. I don't, I don't like that energy though, Sag. I gotta be honest. I don't like that competitive energy because I feel like whatever it is, it's like, why do I feel like it's like imaginary? It's like, it's not a real competition, okay? What do I mean by that? Some of you might be, but I feel like for a lot of you where it's like, it's almost like other people are trying to make it a competition between you and someone else. And you're just like, I'm just doing my thing. What? Like, like, like no, let's say no, no, no competition. Like, what? No. Like, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm feeling for some of you. And I think that's part of the burden where it's like, I'm just doing my thing. They're just doing their thing. Why are they trying to pin us against each other? Like, that's kind of how it feels for some of you in that competitive stance, as opposed to you getting chased down romantically and it's stressing you the hell out. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Saggy, that's it? Shit. <laughs> okay, you got a three card reading, Sag. Overall energy, we have the King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Ooh, very interesting, Sag. This person's keeping their mouth shut. Who is this? They're keeping their mouth shut. Oh, okay, because they're hung up. That's why. <laughs> Hanged man, Piscean energy. You have an energy here. This is your chaser. This is your chaser. This is your chaser. Don't know why they made me say it three times, but they did. This is your chaser. Oh, there's the fourth. Um, <laughs> all of a sudden I saw alcohol. All of a sudden I saw alcohol. Uh, you might like to drink with this person, or you could be future future you could be doing a lot of drinking with this person anyway so king of swords in reverse with the hanged man this person's trying to figure some shit out this is they're trying to figure out how to catch you sag how to catch you catch up to you claim you if it's competitive beat you out and again with this competitive energy i feel like it's not a comp i don't feel like it's a real competition at least like yeah other people see it that way but you don't see it that way sag more importantly you don't see it that way other people see it that way but either way, your chaser is hung up right now. I keep seeing alcohol. Like, I keep seeing, like, beer bottles and shots. Um, anyway. Um, and they're keeping quiet, okay? They're keeping quiet. They don't want you to know that they're chasing. Ah. They don't want you to know that they're chasing, okay? So they're in this place of contemplation. They're in this place of contemplation. I also feel like about bettering themselves too. Something about focusing on themselves, focusing on their strategy. Yeah, focusing on their strategy on how to improve in catching you or getting up to your speed. Thank you. Getting up to your speed or catching you or being at your standard, at your caliber. Trying to figure that out. They don't want you to know what they're up to. They don't want you to know that they're trying to chase you, catch you, claim you. Again, the competitive energy. Some of them might feel like they need to beat you. I really don't feel that though. I really don't feel that. I gotta be honest. I really don't feel that. And if you do think that way, Sag, I think other people are influencing you to think that way. Okay, so just be mindful of that. But this don't look easy. This don't look easy, Sag. So let's go ahead and break this down. Let's look at this tower moment that's coming. I feel like a lot of you have not experienced this tower yet, but time is linear. So some of you might have, but I really don't feel like it's happened yet. Rider. I was <laughs> like, what deck do I want? Rider, wait. Tell me about this tower moment. Could be a Scorp Sag Cusper. Tell me about the tower for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. I, they, they won't stop showing me the drinking. Why are you still showing me this? Um, I really feel like you're going to end up drinking with this person if you haven't already. I like, I'm very specifically, I'm seeing beer bottles and shots and it's at a bar. It's out in public. It's not like in someone's house. Um, I'm actually seeing the bar. Hold on. This is kind of interesting. Definitely a dive bar. Definitely a dive bar. There's at least one pool table that I see. Uh, can't pinpoint where this is. Where is this? I want to know where this is. This is fun. I feel like I'm like, I'm like really looking into at least one of your lives right now. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be intrusive. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I'm a Scorpio. Um, yeah, it just seems like a very like dive kind of bar, but it's like, you guys must be going on a quiet night because I don't see a whole lot of people there. Anyway, neither here nor there. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. For Sagittarius, 
regarding love from now until September 11th. One more. Time of the Tower. You definitely know this person. They would not be a stranger. Two of Wands, Aries energy. Where to go from here? Whatever this Tower moment is, it's putting you in a crossroads. You at a crossroads, Sag, of like, like, oh, the game has changed. And I need to make a choice on how I'm going to move forward of how I'm going to be playing this game, game of life, really. Just not really game, game of life. Running your race, right? Tell me about the top. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, my. Okay. Oh, shit. Nine of Wands. Sag energy with the King of Wands, Leo energy. There's your chaser again. More of that chasing energy. It could also be air or fire with the nine of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. A lot of nines around this king. They're very persistent. They're very persistent and they're going to keep going. They're going to keep doing what they got to do until they get what they want. And right now they're not getting what they want. And then we have a page of swords in reverse, which I don't really like seeing there. They feel the need to act. I don't know why they feel this way, but they feel the need to act. They feel the need to act and keep taking action in regards to you. And it feels a little protective as well. Yeah, it's like for some, they think you're just so fucking precious to them. And again, that trophy energy. I'm like, I'm, why am I getting that with this? Like, don't those look like little trophies, right? They don't have that trophy that they want desperately. And they're going to fight until they get it. But whatever this tower moment is, it's putting you in a position of having to make the choice. Yeah. But the Page of Swords in reverse, I don't like that. I feel a lot of immature communication there. A lot of immature communication. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me more about this tower moment. Tell me more about this tower moment for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me more about this tower moment. I'm going to look at that Page of Swords in reverse a little harder in a minute. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, wanting wanting to work with you, Sat. Wanting to cooperate with you. And it's about a whiff. That's what I mean. It's like, it's not really a competition. Like for those in that competitive energy, it's not really a competition. You don't even see it that way. It's other people making it seem like a competition for those where this is a competitive stance, right? Um, and for those in that scenario where it's like, again, competing, they're watching your moves, they're watching your moves because, again, it's this persistent energy of, like, I'm going to chase down my happiness to, like, get my happiness. Even if that happiness just means, like, being up to your standard, Sag, being up to what would be considered, like, an equal footing. The only thing I don't like is this freaking Page of Swords in reverse. And then overall for the tower, we do have the Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, Soulmate energy, and then we have the Sun, Leo energy. This is beautiful. Like I said, Saj, a lot of you, you're just getting chased down romantically, okay? You're getting chased down romantically. And it can happen in business as well where someone's trying to maybe build themselves up to look um, as legitimate as you in whatever field you guys work in to work with you, right? Because this is like, this is freaking beautiful around this tower energy. This is like a coming together of kindred spirits, of equal souls, of equals. A coming together of equals. But your chaser, man... They've been at this. They've been at this for a while, Sag. And you, because you've been ahead or your back has been turned because you've been getting chased and your focus has been so on you and forward, you've, you, you haven't really been aware. You haven't been aware of how long this person has been chasing you or like how close they are on your tail. Now, what I don't like, is, like I said, is this page of swords in a verse. So let's look into that a little bit more and see why that's here. Do I want the Kipper deck? I'm dying for the Kipper deck, but no, something's telling me no. I'm going to hold off on that for right now. I'm actually going to use Steampunk for this one. I might end up pulling it out, though. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Why is this Page of Swords in reverse here? I don't like this. It just feels immature. It feels a little deceptive. I just don't like it. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Why is the Page of Swords in reverse here? Seven of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Embarrassment. Leo energy. 
embarrassment. I think your chaser has been getting fed up with the chase, which I think is why it's like, it feel, feels like it's coming to a head right now. They're embarrassed by something, Sag. They feel embarrassed by something. So I have a page of swords in reverse. If this is, like I said, a competitive thing in business or what have you, and like, I hate that energy. I'm sorry, I just hate that kind of energy. Um, Sagis, you're so positive that I feel like, can you guys get competitive? Yeah, you can, but you're so positive that it's like, it's not really competition in that way for you. You know what I mean? Um, some people might have been blah, 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 blah in the <laughs> to this king about you. And it's maybe made them feel a little intimidated. That's what it is. It's a little intimidated. It's a little embarrassing. I think like that they haven't been able to catch you or catch up to you or be seen as like your equal or standard or standard. Your equal or like, you know what I'm trying to say? Your peer. That's the word. Peer. I feel embarrassment with this. Tell me more about this page of swords in reverse. But they're watching your moves. They're totally watching your, your moves. Tell me about page of swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Yeah, it's almost like they're embarrassed that they couldn't catch up to you. I just heard keep up as well. Keep up with you, catch up to you, claim you. It's like there's some kind of embarrassment around that. Tell me about page of swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, they can't let it go. They're not letting you go. You're too damn precious, romantically speaking. You're too priceless in business, in business, because some, some this is just chasing you down to, to be, again, to offer you what you can offer them and to join forces, right? Business-wise. They're not letting you go. They're not letting you go. They know what they want. They know what they want. They want you. So <laughs> they want you, okay? And like I said, if this is competitive, which I really don't think it's a true competition or competitive uh, situation. It's being influenced by outside people and it is starting to embarrass this per this chaser. Tell me more about the page of swords in reverse. Tell me more about, yeah, tell me more about the page of swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Tell me more about the page of swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. Okay, now we have Hold this up. The full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Yeah, I, yeah, I like this person's getting really antsy. This person's getting really antsy. They're getting really tired of the chasing. They just they want it to come to a head. So it almost seems like they're gonna make it come to a head. Overall energy, we have four cups in reverse. Yeah, Cancerian energy, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire with beep, bloop. So Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah, they're tired of this situation. They're tired of hearing from other people how far you're away you're getting from them. Again, if it's competitive or even romantic, they're tired of that. They're tired of feeling in a way rejected, like they're losing. They're tired of feeling like they're losing. So they're trying to go and re-strategize with that Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles and reevaluate how to keep up this chase to finally have it come to a head. That's how this is feeling. Oh, shit. All right, now let's look at strength. There's a lot going on there. I can feel it. Where are we at? Oh my God, we're at 23 minutes. Three card reading, but it's ending up being a very long reading. All right, we'll do Gilded Tarot for this one. Tell me about strength. I feel like this is the coming to head. <laughs> the confrontation, the bite from the predator to prey. It's like the actual meat, the actual catch is what I feel here. Tell me about strength. But like I said, it seems like it becomes burdensome. So let's see what happens here. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius regarding love from now until the 11th of September. And like I said, guys, if you have people around you trying to make this a competitive thing, like in your work environment or even amongst your friends or something, don't let them do that. It's just toxic shit. Don't, don't let them do that. Don't let them do that. Because if there's this much energy of wanting to catch up to someone or to chase down someone, it's very clear that you're equals of some caliber, okay? And it's like you're going to be stronger together as opposed to fighting against each other. So just know that. Tell me about strength. And sometimes people do that because they can see it. You know what I mean? Sometimes people can see how incredible two people can be working together or dealing with each other. So that it's like they start to nitpick because they're deep down, they're just jealous and they're triggered. 
And then the, those two people never get to join those forces, right? So just keep that in mind. Talk about strength for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Yeah, Sag, you're wrestling with this because you don't you don't need this fiery shit, right? It's like you kind of want things to be chill. I mean, Sag, you're fun and you're fiery in your own right, but you don't like confrontation because you're Sag. You're very positive. You want peace and fun. That's what you want. That's what you want. So you're trying to figure out how to get take like the heat out of the situation. Even if it is romantic, this is not how a Sag you would like to start shit off, you know? Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius. Three of cups. Can't see. So what did I say? Peace and fun. <laughs> I just want peace and fun, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, I knew that card was going to come out. Can't Syrian energy. Can't Syrian energy. I just want peace and fun. That's it. And again, if this is romantic, it's like you're trying to like take the seriousness out of it because the person who's been chasing you, again, if this is romantic, it's like they, they clearly have been at it for a while. They put in a lot of effort. They put in a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of thought, and they've been very persistent. And I gotta do it. I gotta catch Sag. And it's like, once the catch happens, it's like, calm down. <laughs> calm it down. Let's just chill and have fun, right? Interesting. Tell me more about strength. Tell me more about strength for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. And also I think, yeah, Sag, I feel like you're also appeasing to this person. Like for those where it's like a competitive friend or work environment, I think you're also trying to appease to them. Like say like, hey, you know, we'd be pretty badass doing this together instead of against each other. I think you're also kind of taking it there, which I think is wise. Oh, yeah. Nice. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius. Ooh, I'm pinching on the back of my neck. Tell me about strength for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Ooh, wow, man. This person's all over you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this person's all over you. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, also my pre-empress card for me as a reader. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy. What did I say about that Taurian energy? Taurus. Could also be earth or air. They have their eye on you, Sag. Again, whether it's just business or romance, I feel like it's one or the other. I like, I don't, well, business or romance are both. I'll definitely say both. So you're really strong on your own, Sag. Very strong, which is why this person's been chasing, chasing, chasing. Trying to catch up, catch up, catch up. Or be, again, I don't feel like they've been wanting to beat you out. I think that's other people influencing them to take it to that level. And even if it, if, even if you're finding yourself in that stance of like, this person's just trying to beat you, I think you're really going to appease to their side of like, hey, you know, there's a really cool calm collective way of doing this because we could really make something awesome here together. Um, but with this King of Pentacles, this is someone who does want to provide, Zaj. It's like, and then this protective energy that I'm getting again, it's like very, it's very Torian. It's very Torian. It's like my trophy, my Sag, that's my Sag. Hi. Yeah, I chased your ass down. It's like very, very Torian masculine energy. I just heard Mars. I just heard Mars. Um, oh, which makes sense too. That's also very masculine energy because Mars is Aries, right? It's Aries and Scorpio, but it's like, it's that fiery, strategic, get in, get that job done and hit that goal, right? Hit that goal. Overall energy, we have two of swords, moon and Libra energy. Oh, and then we've got the page of cups. Oh. By the way, tower and reverse underneath that. So this is regarding that tower moment, which is all about the first energy we already went over, right? Um, putting you in a place of crossroads, putting you in the decision seat, that two of swords seat. With that page of cups, this is an offer from this king, an offer from this king. Um, like I said, for a lot of you, I do feel it's romantic and it is a page of cups. I do feel like this is a romantic scenario where they've been wanting to do this for a while and now they're finally coming to you. But for some reason, you're finding it hard to deal with. You're, you're finding it hard to make a decision here when it comes to this person romantically. I think even in business sense, I think oh, you're having a little trouble 
like reconciling how you feel about it. I think because they came in so aggressive and they came in so strong and they put in so much energy into it when you had no idea that it's like, it's just a lot. It's just a lot for you. And Sag, I do feel like you're in this energy of like, I've been doing battle by myself. Do I do it? Do I not? You're just in that position of, is it in my best interest to join forces, right? Is it in my best interest to join forces? All right, in love or business or otherwise. Let's look at the burden. This can also just be the amount of work that is about to happen between the two of you. So let's just dissect it and see what we get from this, okay? But I do feel like, Sag, I feel like the longer you wait on this decision, the more burdened you're going to feel. So just keep that in mind as well. I'm going to use Spellcaster's deck for this one. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. There we go. And there's an Emperor. Emperor in reverse. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, my water's over there. Aries energy, Taurus energy. So it's funny, let's pick up Taurus and then Aries. We talked about Mars. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. This is interesting. This is definitely this chaser. This is definitely the chaser. Very much an Emperor energy, but I don't like that they're in reverse though. I don't like their in reverse because it's like getting drawn back to that that um, trophy energy of like, that's my Sag, that, that's my Sag. It's a beautiful energy to be so in awe of like the person you want to join forces with, again, in any sense of that phrase. Um, however, I feel like this emperor, God, how do I say this? They've been chasing this whole time, right? Chasing, trying to catch you, trying to catch up to you. I just, there's something about their energy that feels like they might have rushed their own process too much. They're just not grounded. It's like they're coming to the finish line, meeting you at the finish line. Not grounded. A little out of energy. A little out of sorts. A little out of control. Not very in control of themselves or in their environment. And sometimes slow and steady wins the race, right? I mean, Sag, six of swords, that's slow and steady, right? That's peaceful. That's a calm movement. Um, and I think that's probably how you got to where you are. You gained your momentum over time, right? You're moving too fast with this person in whatever, you know, or getting away from them too fast, whatever it was that you've been doing. Um, whether you've just been living your life, making plans, making moves, what have you. But you built that momentum, Sagis. You know how to do that. You know, I think that's always why I always get runner terminology with you guys uh because you know how to build your stamina to be able to maintain a good pace and this emperor i think has had trouble with that and because of that they're kind of meeting at the finish line out of steam a little bit and like i said out of sorts not very grounded and i think you know that i think you can see it you can see it tell me about the ten of wands tell me about the ten of wands for sagittarius oh yeah what did i just say four of swords in reverse exhaustion libra energy yeah, yeah. You're looking at this emperor and they're like, hey, Satch, hi. <laughs> and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> like, oh no, do I need to carry you? Like now that we're like at the finish line and you've actually caught up to me, do I need to carry you from here on out? This person's exhausted. This person's exhausted. They have to ground themselves. Yeah, they finally caught up to you. They felt pressured to because you kept getting further and further away. It's almost like they did a sprint too early in like the last stretch it's kind of like again all this runner imagery it's kind of like that like they were going they saw you and it was like shit they're getting away shit they're getting farther oh man we're at the last mile i'll just gotta sprint this shit out and now they're like they're they're a little spent they're a little spent this person needs recovery time this person needs major recovery time even if it's just a vacation or just you know some time alone in hermit mode for like a couple weeks or something but i feel like this person has been wanting to meet up to you meet you at your level for such a long time that it's like they couldn't just not do it you know it's kind of sweet though it's kind of sweet besides you're burdened by the idea though because you can see they're out of steam tell me about ten of wands 
Tell me about Ten of Wands. For Sagittarius. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Ooh, competition. There's that competition card. No longer competing, right? No longer competing, no longer chasing. The chase is done. I also feel like this is the external energies that were really negatively influencing this person for those where they were trying to make it a competition between the two of you. Um, I do feel like that energy has dissipated, but this energy has also exhausted them. That's added to their exhaustion by listening to other people and their bullshit ideas, okay? Uh, let's see what else we got here. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. Regarding love from now until September 11th. They they just need to recover, Sag. They, they need time. They might not want... Oh, shit. Yeah, they might not want to take it, but they need time. Now we have a Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, the loss. They The further you... The more you grew, Sag, the more you grew and however long this has been going on for some of you, it's been months. Weeks? Weeks and months. I don't think years. Weeks and months here, okay? The more you've grown... The more this person has felt at a loss it's like it's that bitter feeling when you're run again runner imagery <laughs> it's that bitter feeling when you're running a race and you see everyone gaining 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 and you're burnt and you're like you you can't keep up like you just can't and it's like god damn it like i can't i can't be that last one i can't let them get out of my grasp i can't i can't i can't it's that kind of energy and they've exhausted themselves meeting you at your level but what happens when you exhaust yourself like that you got to take a time out right? You got to take a time out. And Sag, you kind of know that's the truth. So for example, if this is all romantic, you're seeing that this person has been beat by love, okay? You're seeing this person has been beat by love. Um, emotionally, they're, they're, they're worn and torn from possibly losing you. So they're not in, like the greatest mental state. It's like, you just know that it's like, if we started something romantic, it, it, it wouldn't be good. You just need a little time. And I think you might even tell this person that, which is going to make them a little sad, going to make them feel like, damn it, I lost Sag in the end. But I don't think that's true. I just think you you recognize this person needs to recover. This person needs to recover from the race. <laughs> this person needs to recover from whatever bullshit they just went through in love. And again, if this is business, they've been burning themselves out to catch up to you and they need a break. So even if you want to join forces with them, I feel like there's going to be a pause in between this confrontation and actually joining forces because it's needed. This person just needs it and that's okay. They're gonna be sad about it. They're gonna be bummed. They might even like be really upset with you about it because they've been putting so much effort to get to this point with you, but it's just needed and it's gonna be better in the long run. Overall energy for the 10 of wands, 10 of wands, Sag energy, but look, see? Temperance, Sag energy. There you are right up to them on the finish line. Like, look, king slash emperor, it's okay. But maybe we just need a little more time before we try to join forces. It really is about that. I think you will be joining forces with this person, Sag. You just see how burnout they are or how um, hurt they are or how exhausted or depleted they are from whatever race they've been running to catch up to you or whatever ever situations they've been leaving or other relationships they've been leaving behind to catch you, okay? You know it's been to be with you in work or love, but you know they need the break. That's why you're right there. It's okay. It's okay, Emperor. Just we just take your time. Take your time. They might fight you, but they're pretty exhausted. So I don't know. They might not fight you too much. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. I love this reading though. It's kind of cute. I really like it. <laughs> Any advice for Saggies? Any advice for Saggies? Oh, peacock spirit, let it shine. 46 of cyclical energy. This is so sad to me right now. This is so sad to me right now. Because Sagis, you have that energy where it's big and it's bright and people love that, right? Very much like a peacock energy and you are very confident and it's because you're also very positive. When you're more positive, you build on your confidence, right? And there's no stopping you. There's no not looking at a peacock. There's no not acknowledging what a peacock is doing because they're just, they just captivate you. And you have captivated this person and there is no shame in that. Flaunt it. Flaunt it. It's what got this person to run this crazy race with you. <laughs> um, but you're also being very honest. You're also being very honest with them and seeing how torn, torn and worn they are. Um, but it's also speaking to how irresistible you are to this person, okay? 
And there's also something about not having to say much. I don't know what that's about. Not having to say much. There's something about your character and your energy actions and your actions where you don't even really have to speak on much in situations, or at least with this person. They understand you very well, Sag. They understand you very well. They understand you very well. And I think that's why they've wanted to run this race so intensely because they just know, they know what kind of quality person you are. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right, let's see what else we got here. I also feel like this is them speaking some truth, especially when it comes to love, okay? <laughs> especially when it comes to love. Let's see here. Any other advice for my Saggies? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, I'll take those, I'll take those. Any other advice for Saggies? Any other advice for Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for Saggies regarding this spread? Ah, <laughs> Leo had this overall too. Hold on. So now we have Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle, 50 breaking down to a five. Like I said, Saj, you've been running your race. You've been doing what you got to do. This person is finally catching up to you, but you're realizing you're finally here, but you're not ready. You're finally here, but you're not ready. And there is something about the way that you've been, again, running your race, whether that's the race of life or what you've been doing in the workplace or any changes you've made in regards to your love life or loving yourself, any of that, whatever your personal race is, they know you've overcome a lot. And I think that's what's also inspired them to uh, join forces with you. It's all about this joining of forces, right? And you know that you guys can get past this. You just know they're not quite ready, right? You know they're not quite ready and that can be overcome and you're just letting them know like, hey, just take some more time and then we can do this. Then we can join forces, recover, recharge, do what you got to do, drink your water, drink your Gatorade, and we'll be back at it. I feel like that's what you're saying to this person. Then we have Owl Spirit. You see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven. I freaking love this card. This is a very intuitive card, like High Priestess card. Like I said, Zad, you can see it. You can see it in this person that they're just not quite ready. But you also know, you also know that they very much are like, quite the kindred spirit for you uh quite a match for you like something that can bring in a lot of abundance and a lot of joy i'm also getting a lot of freedom i don't know what that's about a lot of freedom keys to the kingdom i just heard keys to the kingdom no idea what that's in reference to but kings to the kingdom you see all of that and you know it you know it but you also know they need time to recover recharge heal and do whatever they got to do to truly be ready you know at full capacity they're ready, but they're a little dilapidated right now, okay? <laughs> they just need to recover. They just need to recover. Now we have Koi Fish Spirit. There's always enough. 36 breaking down to a nine. And Dragonfly Spirit Truth Transcends Illusion with the energy of 22, which is a master number. This is another intuitive energy. And it's funny because what, it was, what was I just saying? It's like, you know that they just need time to recover and it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. This is another intuitive energy. They are just as, in, no, are they just as, no, they are intuitive. They are intuitive, Sag. You might be a little bit more so just because they had to do this long ass sprint in the last mile to catch up to you. So they're a little worn, like I said, but you're both intuitive. You're both very intuitive and Koi Fish Spirit is about scarcity mindset and breaking away from that. Like, hey, everything you do is enough. You will always have enough. There will always be enough. And I think with you, with the way that you're approaching them, like very gently, you're doing it very gently, by the way, I can feel it. Like, hey, I love that you're here. I love we're having this conversation. And again, for those where it's like other people try to make this a competitive thing between the two of you, like in work or friends or what have you, you're reassuring them like, hey, we're way better together than we are against each other. And they, they agree. They definitely agree to that. Um, but the way that you're being with them is so gentle and so sweet that it's reassuring them that, okay, okay, I can take time. I, it's okay. I can take time. And what's meant for me is meant for me. And if Sag is meant for me, Sag is meant for me. And when I'm back swinging at full capacity, this can really take off. Overall energy, Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41, break. this is a beautiful reading, guys. I love this. 41, break it down to a five. This is... For those of you who've been with me for a while, as a reader, this is my uh, card for having a very significant love interest um, in the midst of things. And I do think that that really holds true for a lot of you here. I feel like for most of you, this is romance related. 
for most of you, I feel like this is romance related. Um, this is a very, this is a very significant person, and they got a lot of love for you, Sag. They have a lot of passion for you. They got a lot of everything for you. <laughs> Just put it that way. They have a lot of everything for you, and they tried their damnedest to try and catch up to you and make it happen. Are they bummed? They got to take a time out. Yeah. But again, the way that you're communicating with them, and this is what I mean by it's like, you guys are such a match, such a pair. The way that you two are communicating with each other is beautiful. And it, it's like you just get it. You help them understand, you help them calm down. And you just take the proper action and you guys will succeed. You'll succeed. You will join forces for sure. Whoever this resonates with, you will join forces. And this was beautiful, Sag. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Saggies.